Hi, my name is Robert. This video is designed to give you step-by-step -step detailed instruction on completing the task at hand. Visit my YouTube channel and watch my disclaimer video. And please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find the information you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. When your sway bar end links go back, you normally mount it from here down to your sway bar here. And what normally happens is the boots get torn on them and they lose their grease and they get loose to where they wiggle and vibrate while you're riding. And if they do that, uh, because they're warm, they get noisy. If you let these go and get too bad, they'll drive you nuts. But anyway, as you can see, this one is, is very loose. I can feel a joint in there. Sometimes you can grab them when they're installed and jerk them and wiggle them and you can hear them clicking. This is a new one, a heavy duty, I think, male is the name of it. You can hardly move it with your hand. The joint is so tight. So take them off, put them on uh, probably 30 minutes per side. Now the nut that you take off is 15 millimeter and the holder behind it, you see the flat spots there, that's 16 millimeter. So you either need a 16 millimeter wrench, but sometimes it's hard to get a regular on there. So I have a extra flat one. It's about half as thick as a normal boxed in wrench. So you need an extra flat, 16 millimeter uh, boxed in. To get the sway bar end links at the perfect height so that they come out and go back in, the uh, shock needs to be adjusted on the height with the wheel off. So what I do is I take the wheel off. Of course, the car is jacked up. After the car is jacked up, I support either a jack or something else under the wheel assembly normally under the ball joint of the uh, control arm then I either jack that wheel up or I lower the car down on it so that whatever's under the uh, wheel makes the wheel stay stable while the car comes down and I think it's about an inch that I raise the wheel now when I pull these bolts out of the sway bar end links, they're the perfect length because the sway bar pivot uh, stays where it is as the strut assembly goes up. So they fit, they just drop right in place. Now when I tighten these sway bar end links on, I get them real tight. I've seen these nuts come off before. I don't know if you want to put some thread lock on them or not. But I normally torque them down to about 65 foot-pounds. And I am going to go ahead and put a little thread lock on mine, even though these are supposed to be self-locking nuts. After you get the on link on and tight, go ahead and uh, put the wheel back on, snug the bolts down, lower the car down after you move the jack stand, and torque down your wheel bolts. If you feel that this information was beneficial, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can also subscribe to my channel so that you can get notification of future videos that I post. Visit my channel. I have all types of do-it-yourself videos there. You can leave questions here and I'll try to respond to them as quick as possible. You can also visit my website at robertspinner.com. Thanks again for watching.